Yeah, every time you hit one of those goddess cubes, uh, if you've seen the little gray bo uh, chests, um, and Fire's already told you she doesn't know how to open them, uh, like the one that's behind the guy in the scrap shop. Um, every time you hit one of those cubes uh, on the surface, it allows one of those chests to be opened. And you can't actually open one up, like the one that's in the scrap shop, until you hit its specific cube. And I'm going to go to have a separate video for uh, the goddess cubes and uh, where the chests are and whatnot in a separate video. So I'm not really going to cover that uh, in these. It, it's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. But right now, since you have... Um, I've already upgraded that. I don't think we can upgrade the beetle just yet. Uh, I think it's got to become the uh, claw beetle or whatever it's called. But let's find out. And it's always a good idea to go in to the bazaar, you know, after you do something significant uh, because you can't pick up something new. If you have the money, of course. Hey, hey. Yeah, you can't you can't upgrade the beetle yet. You won't be able to until after you've already gone through the Lemay Desert. Um, you know, every time you complete something significant, you typically uh, this guy's gonna have a new shield for you. Uh, it's just like this one. Uh, it's a metal one. All right, iron shield. Excuse me. more durable uh, because it's made out of metal uh, but you will be more susceptible to electricity which you're going to you're going to have a problem with when you go to Lanayru, uh in the desert because that place is electricity so <laughs> so when you go to the desert you'll want your wood shield uh, so that way you won't be getting shocked when you shield bash somebody uh, and you just will if you accidentally hit him with your sword and if you have the capability, uh, which I don't think you will, um, you'll want to upgrade your shields every single time you can. Because that obviously makes them stronger, you don't have to have them repaired so often. <laughs> and each shield can be upgraded three times. Uh, normal the better, it improves the durability. Of course. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, and um, say like I have this little bottle of uh, glittering spores. I didn't want to do that. And you don't want to use it or something like that, you actually can sell it to her. So you can get rid of it. Instead of just standing there and dumping it and dumping it and dumping it and whatnot. Oh, she won't take it. Bummer. Looks like I do have to dump it. But yeah, when you have something like that, or you accidentally like buy an extra shield or something, or an extra something that you don't want, she is who you sell them to. I'll just dump this out. Now the revitalization potion is actually really good to have. So you're like in the middle of a temple or something like that, and you're in a little boss fight and your shield's about to be busted. It's fixed. What is this? I don't know. Mmm. Stamina po uh, potion is also really good too. Um, it slows down um, how m quick your stamina gauge goes down, and as you upgrade it, uh, the next upgrade is going to be an even slower rate. Uh, but the highest upgrade is actually going to keep your stamina from going down completely for three minutes. Right, buy one. Come on. Uh, she hasn't finished it yet. That's what I get for run talking and not reading. And as I stated earlier, when you get a potion, uh, if you have the materials to upgrade it, uh, her husband is the one who does the upgrades on your potions and makes them better. The upgrade for uh, the revitalization potion just increases how many hearts you get uh, restored. And again, uh, just like on the repair shop, it gives you the list of items you need. Now later on in the game, uh, that fortune teller um, will be telling you, you know, where you can find these things if you haven't got them already. Uh, that will be a great help. And of course, also you can find websites that have. <laughs> better locations of them. Well, he's going to give you the same locations as in uh, the fortune teller will, but it's a lot quicker. Okay, enough of the bubble. Uh -huh. Yes, you have an eye on a shield. Thank you very much. Okay, now that's taken care of, we should go uh, to where you got the goddess sword and put the tablet on the pedestal. <laughs> and again, if you haven't bought everything from him already, uh, Beetle, you should go up to a shop and at least buy the bug net.
Duh, it's already open. I'm smart. Once you put that tablet on the pedestal, uh, helping this lady out will actually start your uh, side quest for collecting uh, the gratitude crystals. Uh, and again, that is also going to be covered in a different video, so I'm going to uh, not do anything for her little talk after this. Okay, enough of the speech bubbles. Oh. Okay, now talking to her does hey. start the side quest for the gratitude crystals. Hey. Um, once the video is up, I am going to have a link to that video in this video, along with the link to go to the rest of the playlist. Uh, because right now, you actually can do several of the gratitude crystals quests. <laughs> 